these women are chanting what has become an international feminist anthem. It's called A Rapist in Your Path. It was first performed a year ago here in Chile. The chorus says, it wasn't my fault, or because of what I wore or where I was. The rapist is you. All day long, there were performances and demonstrations to mark International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. Tens of thousands of Chilean women have been victims of gender violence and harassment, more often than not carried out with total impunity. These kerchiefs represent victims of femicide. That today we have each other, that we, today we have a movement, that we have encountered each other and we have the, uh, the opportunity to change things because we are a collective and massive force of change. For years, Chilean women took a back seat in the feminist movement, but not anymore. We didn't talk about it before. How could we say that a cousin or a priest was doing something so awful to you? But that's changed dramatically thanks to the younger generation. No, no. These women are demanding protection and stronger penalties for domestic violence, rape and sexual harassment. But despite growing awareness, violence against women is on the rise, particularly domestic violence. And this has been particularly extreme during the pandemic here and in practically all of Latin America. And while the government and lawmakers promise that they will take action, legislation that could make all the difference continues to sit at the bottom of the pile in Congress. In Mexico, where 10 femicides are committed every day, women march to demand an end to impunity. I live in fear of going out and never returning alive to see my mother and family. That's what living in Mexico is like for a woman. Yet from one end of Latin America to the other, women are standing up to say enough. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.